EVAP problems with vehicles are pretty common and a lot of times they're kind of hard to diagnose. Now a lot of newer vehicles they use a leak detection pump in order for the computer to detect whether there's an actual EVAP problem with the vehicle. Problem is on some of these vehicles like this Toyota behind me it waits five hours before it turns on that leak detection pump to run the test. So it's really hard to verify whether or not you actually fix the problem. So now we can force it using a scan tool. All right, so I already got the vehicle loaded in here, so we have to go into the scanner to do this. And then it's under the engine control module. And then is it under system tests right here. So we'll go to system tests. And you can either do it manually or automatic. I like things automatic, so we'll go into the automatic test mode. And then it tells you what it's going to do. So it activates the uh, vent solenoid, the vent valve, and the vacuum pump to draw and release vacuum through the system. System operation can be confirmed by watching the vapor pressure either go up or down during each step. So we'll hit continue there. To make sure you don't damage the system, the scan tool will automatically stop the pump when the pressure drops below a certain number. Refer to service manual for information. Do not operate vent valve and vacuum pump continually for more than 15 minutes. Continue. Ensure the vehicle is in park, ignition is on, engine not running, fuel temp below 95 degrees, and fuel level less than 9 tenths of the fuel level. Now all these parameters are important as it won't run the test if any of these are off. So we'll just hit continue again. Now it wants us to cycle the ignition, so let's go over and do that. Okay, that's 10 seconds. Continue. Now we got to cycle it back on. All right, good to go. Don't hit the brake pedal. Don't start the engine. Just going to pull the data from the vehicle and make sure that all the test parameters are indeed set. And it says it can only be activated every key cycle, so if it's been completed already, make sure you exit. It's only been one key cycle, so we'll hit continue. Automatic check will simulate the system monitor. If a malfunction is detected, it will set a code. So this is a good way to force it and make sure that you don't have to wait that five hour cold soak. They call it a cold soak bypass. Uh, so if we hit continue, that'll start the test. Test will last 8 to 15 minutes, so make sure you have a little bit of time there. Then it'll wait for 10 seconds before it starts the test. And we're off and running. All right, looks like it's done here. So we'll just hit continue there. Uh, the next step is going to allow you to check any codes that may have set. So we'll go through there. Let's check current codes first. Nothing there. History codes. Nothing there once again. Pending codes. Nothing. And permanent codes. Nothing there as well. So that's a good way to verify that everything is done, everything is complete. If we back out of there, it's going to say you want to make sure that if there are any codes, you want to complete any repairs necessary. And then hit continue again. Test is done. That'll save you five hours of wait.